how to care for new side uh, we get we get asked that question almost uh, I, do, I myself do a lot of the deliveries for us and uh, I, I get that question a lot we get that, that question a lot on the phone most of the time we we refer people to our website for a detailed explanation of, uh, of the grass uh, and, and, and the care and we have it broken down into whether or not we're talking about new grass that we're just we've just installed or we're talking about grass that's established and it has been there for, for a year plus uh, and then we also have it broken down into different times of year because all those things uh, all those things uh, change the, the answer to that question but uh, if I was talking about how to care for new sod I would say uh, okay we've got all our grass laid now now what uh, I would say that the most important thing and the most critical thing, especially if we're talking about doing this in late spring, uh, any, any time of summer, late fall, when, it, when it's still fairly hot outside, uh, the most important thing is water. You, you really have to water, uh, it depends on whether, it's as far as how long, depending on if we're talking about an irrigation system, whether you have a sprinkler system, or uh, if we're talking about watering it with a hose, but I can uh, tell you from experience that watering with a hose, you're normally, uh, once, once we get March, April on through October, you're talking about watering with a hose. Uh, the first couple of days, I recommend about eight or 10 hours. What, what we say is you need two inches, you need to apply two inches of water uh, to an area and just r roughly usually with city water pressure it takes about four hours to put out one inch of water on an area and you it is very critical that you make sure every single piece of grass receives that much water any gra any piece along the edge that doesn't uh, that that would it, it, the grass won't make it uh, it what what one of the main things you're doing is trying to help it you just you, it's the grass is in shock. You just ripped it out of the ground, threw it on a pallet, and it travels over the road, and then you lay it down out in the sun. Uh, so you're trying to help it recuperate from that, but also you're trying to get rid of the air pockets that are beneath, uh, beneath that piece of grass where the dirt meets the dirt on the bottom. If those new roots try to come out of that bottom of the piece of grass and they hit an air pocket, uh, the, the roots die. So the the if you if you water properly it sticks it good to the ground turns both of them to mud and uh kind of kind of seals it to the crown that's one of the that's one of the main purposes for the water as well so uh the upfront watering uh is, is the most important thing and then again depending on the time of year you're talking about watering probably every other day for for the first couple of weeks and then you slowly start start backing off that and then your, uh, as far as mowing, that would be the. That's probably the other question we get asked. Uh, how, when can I mow? And usually, you, you you are watering a lot that first couple of weeks, and the grass isn't really growing all that much, uh, especially that first week. But I would say after that second week, when you start pulling the water back a little bit, you can set your mower on its highest setting and barely just kind of uh, kind of knock the top of the grass off a little bit to. To, and basically what you're trying to do is encouraging it to, is to grow out instead of up. And, uh, but you certainly don't want to chop it off real short or anything like that. So uh, keeping that mowing height up. And, and, and then you probably can go to, to a weekly mowing and slowly bringing it down to that uh, three and a half, four inches or so. But uh, keeping it real, real tall that first, that first mowing. And uh, then I'd say the third most frequent question we get is when can I fertilize? And usually what we tell people to do is wait a month, uh, as long as it's during the growing season, which means when the grass is green, uh, put it out there, wait about a month after doing the watering, mowing that we talked about. Uh, you, you can put out a half rate, which means turn the bag over, it says put out, put your spreader on say 13, you need to put your spreader on six and a half or so. Uh, you, you wanna put out a half rate of, of whatever the, the fertilizer bag says. And uh, the best way to f determine the type of fertilizer you need to use is to do soil samples. Since most people don't take the time to do soil samples, we just recommend that you use a good balanced fertilizer like a triple 15 or uh, 15, 5, 10 or something like that. Uh, it's real important to not use a uh, fertilizer that's like the weed and feeds that have like bonus S and stuff like that because most of those have uh, weed killers in them and uh, like atrazine and whatnot, and those will stunt the root growth of the new grass. So you absolutely don't want to do that. You just want a, a, a 
plain old fertilizer with slow release nitrogen. Uh, it is important to look for the slow release nitrogen. You're not just looking for a burst of green. You're trying to feed it and uh, give the give it the nutrition that it needs to get get good and going. And uh, so I would say those those are probably the three most important points. And again, it does vary depending on the time of year uh, uh, that we're talking about. But, but for the most part, that that covers taking care of newly installed grass.